As you may already know, Norton Course Packs allow you to bring free, completely open, and tech-specific content directly into your Blackboard course. And any instructor who has adopted a Norton textbook can request and then install a course pack, and that process is really quite simple. What you may not know is that we've preloaded each course pack with the instructor test bank, and that means you, as an instructor, can create powerful assessments and deploy them right in your Blackboard course. In this tutorial, I'll show you where you can find these test banks, how to filter and edit them, and then I'll show you how easy it is to create an assessment, in my example it'll be a midterm, using Blackboard. Now once you've logged into your course, select and expand Course Tools from the left-hand navigation window, and then select Test, Surveys, and Pools from the submenu. From this screen, select Pools. We're first going to look at the test banks from which we'll create our midterm, and then I'll show you how you can edit and pair back questions you find there. From this view, we can see that test banks are organized by chapters, and there are about 50 questions per chapter. This number will vary from textbook to textbook. Some will have more, but few will have less. At any time, I can select on the downward pointing arrow icon and select Edit to view questions in a particular chapter. This will also allow me to edit individual questions in any way I see fit. I can select Question Display to view the entire question, and to go back to that truncated view, the default, just select Question Display again. We can select all questions and set the value to a specific number. I know that all of my midterms or any of my tests are going to have about 50 questions, so I'll set the universal point value to 2. Many course pack test banks include metadata that allow you to sort questions by type, topic, and difficulty. So, say I wanted to delete or preview the difficult questions in a chapter's test bank. I can elect to only view difficult questions in a test bank, then review each filtered question, and delete those I don't feel are appropriate. Once you delete a question, you'll never see it again. By clicking on the downward facing icon next to a specific question, I can change the question phrasing, select a different correct answer, rewrite answers for clarity, or even provide answer-specific feedback. Blackboard now even allows you to record and embed video through a screen cam and YouTube if you wanted to put a human touch on your feedback. Time-consuming, sure, but immensely helpful to students. At any point, I can select questions in a test bank for deletion. That way I know they'll never appear again, for example, in a random block assessment, something that we'll look at in a moment. I can also add new questions to the test bank by selecting the Create Question button in the upper left-hand corner, and in so doing, pair your own questions with the textbook's question bank. We'll now return to the previous screen, just click the Back button, and then select Test. I'm now going to walk you through the process of creating two types of test. One will be built on questions that I select, so precisely the questions that I select, and then one will be based on a specified number of questions that are drawn from a larger test bank, and this is what is known as a random block assessment. To get started, select Build Test from the upper left-hand menu. Blackboard will ask you to name your new test and then provide some instructions. Everything but a test title is optional, but I highly recommend that you give that test a memorable and unique name. Select Create Question Set, and a box like this one will appear. Then select the test banks you're interested in drawing from by clicking on the radio box next to the chapter number. You can then select the precise questions you want to add to your assessment. I can even search across test banks for questions with a particular keyword. Now let's look at how to create a random block assessment. I'll repeat the process from a moment ago, but this time I'll select Create a Random Block. 
I'll then select a few chapters and let Blackboard know I only want to draw in multiple choice type questions, knowing that these will be automatically graded. Keep in mind that if you select open-ended or essay type questions, those will require your hand grading. I've chosen to draw questions in my random block from four different test banks, and that gives me a total of 207 questions that could possibly be chosen. And this is a good reason to edit test banks before you create a random block assessment. I'll then tell Blackboard to choose 20 questions at random from these question banks, and to make each question worth 5 points each. Now that we've created two different types of assessments, we need to deploy them. And doing so is easy. Simply decide where you want to place your test, and that's completely up to you, and then select Assessments from the upper hand menu. Then select Test from the submenu, and scroll down until you find the assessment you just created a moment ago. And this is why you want to give your assessment a memorable name. In this case, Geology Midterm. 2013. Blackboard will ask you a few questions about how you want to deploy your test. You may choose to make it visible immediately or set a specific date. You may choose to enforce a timer or give students the opportunity at multiple attempts. Again, this is entirely in your hands. Finally, when you're ready, click Submit. On the next screen, you may notice that your test doesn't appear. Blackboard places all new items, from links to test, at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of list. So, if your test doesn't appear, scroll down, then drag and drop it to a position that you'd like. Because this is a random block assessment, we can select on it to make sure it's working properly. Imagine that we're student A. These are the first two questions, drawn from a potential, you remember, of about 207. If I submit the test and repeat the process, I'll see an entirely new group of questions. This tells me that the random block assessment is working properly. If you'd like to learn more about our Open Course Packs initiative, like the one you just saw in this tutorial, go to www.norton.com forward slash course packs or talk to your local Norton representative.